welcome to my first, well, I guess you could say real tutorial. I'm going to assume you already have a 3D model. The first thing you want to do with your model is to reduce the poly count on this model so that it is not a problem with performance. Also, for every texture that you've made on this character, you are going to want to combine it into one singular texture so that it doesn't eat up so much performance and yet at the same time still looks as good as it does. Now, in the game engine, you do not want to have any subsurf modifier on because that is going to eat up the performance like crazy however at the same time you do not want your model looking like this because this frankly looks atrocious however there is one quick and easy step to make it look like you have the subsurf modifier on without having the subsurf modifier on so with that being said i'm going to make a copy of this entire model and pull it over there then go over to the body and then remove the parts that you cannot see on the model for example you can't see the feet through the shoes you can't see the legs through the shorts and also you're not going to be able to see the torso and the chest and most of the arms so you're going to want to delete those click ctrl j when you've selected everything and that should make the entire model one mesh after you've done that select the mesh select the armature and then control P and set parent with automatic weight and after you've done that just test out the deformations of the armature if your character has hair like this you are also going to want that to be a part of your mesh literally connect that to your mesh like so go over to the armature that's controlling the vertex group of the head and then assign that 100% to the head for different hairstyles this will be different but if you're having hair that you want to remain static on the head without any physics then this is the way to go this model would now work extremely fast in games thanks to getting rid of the subdivision modifier however However, now it just looks really ugly. Now we can fix that by going into edit mode, selecting your whole mesh and clicking where is it? Smooth vertices. However, the smooth vertices option doesn't do all the magic since you're probably going to now want to go into edit mode and sort out the proportions of the face just a little bit, tweak them here and there so that it looks a little bit closer to the original model. So I'm just going to go up and get both versions right next to each other. And with this, I can just reshape things to basically be how they're supposed to be. Also, make sure that like from different angles, your character is the way you want it to be. And there we go. 